Uh, my name's Steve. I'm here representing Emborder. Uh, we believe that we're changing onboarding for good. But why onboarding? So we know that first impressions matter. 2% of new hires leave a job after a disastrous first day. 22% of staff turnover occurs within the first 40 to 45 days of employment, and 90% of new hires have decided whether or not they'll stay or leave, stay or leave an organization within six months of joining. For us, that suggests that onboarding needs to be much more than just paperwork, form completion, compliance. It needs to be an extension of the recruitment process and something that's personalized, engaging, and relevant. And Border is a workflow tool that engages both the new hire and their hiring manager throughout the onboarding process. HR are able to build bespoke communications that trigger over a timeline. The new hire and the hiring manager choose how those communications are sent or how they receive them, text message, email, Slack, and each message will then send with an embedded link. They click the link and Border opens within their device's browser to deliver a series of actions, activities, and experiences. This is the back office of Emborder. The Add New People button is how you put people into the system. You can do that manually, or we integrate with all known applicant tracking systems, including smart recruiters. Once the new hire and manager are in the system, they travel down the line and into a workflow, which is essentially an end-to-end -end onboarding experience. Now, you can build as many workflows as you want based on the diversity of your own hiring. Factors such as location, seniority, language, function can all be into it, taken into account or kind of a combination of all of those things. Once the new hire and their manager are in the workflow, they move along the timeline together until they reach a communication that's been designed for them. Above the line, communications for the hiring manager. Below the line, communications for the new hire. Workflows can be as long as you want them to be. They can start as early and finish as late as you like, and the average and border workflow is probably around six months long. After you've des decided when you want communications to send, you'd use and borders nine modules on the left-hand side to design what you want the digital experiences themselves to look like. Now, the nine modules have all been designed to do different things, and I'll show you three of them. The first of which is a content page, a simple way of adding images, video, personalized text. For the new hire or the recipient, they'd receive a text message at the relevant and appropriate point. Within it is a link. They click the link, and that page renders beautifully on their device. Crucially, what that means is there are no apps to download, no login details, no training required. You can also use it to build forms. Now, that might be things like technology request forms, payroll forms, uniform ordering. You might decide to use forms post-hire to do things like feedback, check-ins, and so forth. The communication module is a way of prompting human interaction. You might decide to send something like this to your hiring managers at the appropriate time, saying, look, Steve's just signed his contract. Now's a great time to give him a call and say congrats and welcome. Same delivery mechanism for the hiring manager. Communication will send via email, text, they click the link, renders perfectly on the screen. The best way to display this is to show you on your own devices. So if you have your phones to hand, text your name to the number that you see on the screen now. It just needs to be your first name. We'll then drop you into a workflow and send you a couple of communications so you'll be able to experience and border firsthand. We work with customers all over the world from um, retail and banking, some of the best known brands in the world. And the impact that we're gener generating for them is largely around reducing attrition um, and alerting for potential no-shows. The system can be configured to do that. Of course, we help to make new hires feel valued, accepted, and welcomed, and we can successfully predict flight risks. Most of our customers also use the system to promote things like their social footprint, advocacy, glass door reviews, and even referrals. Quick thanks to Nationwide. They let us use our branding today. Anyone who did send their name in will receive some Nationwide branded messages. This is a great quote from their onboarding strategy lead. Thank you. So you mentioned you can predict flight risk. How do you do that? Yeah, so one of the things that we measure is engagement, so whether or not new hires interact with the sequences that we send them. One of the modules that you may have seen that I didn't get time to go through is called Logic, which is if this, then that. So it's scenario-based. So you could program the system to say if new hire you know, only interacts with X percentage of sequences, then based on you know, historical data, we'd suggest they're a flight risk. Um, that's something Nationwide have uh, done really well. Gap Retail over in America have used it to predict no-shows. They have a real problem with people accepting, accepting offers and then not arriving on day one. And so we've helped them kind of predict so that. So like, what, what percent of um, people have you identified 
as a as a flight risk as compared to like the reality of someone not showing up, right? Yeah, so it, 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 it totally varies customer by customer, but the, the beauty of the system is that say that we did identify someone as a flight risk based on their interactions with things like surveys, questionnaires, maybe you know, check-in or feedback forms. If that algorithm kicks in, then we might send a notification through to the hiring manager saying, look, Steve's a real flight risk. Here's his mobile number. You should probably check in with him. So it's kind of counteracting it. So we, we don't really know whether or not they were, but the conversation hopefully facilitates that. OK, thank you. One more question? <clears throat> Just a quick one. I love the product. I think onboarding is one of the most critical moments in an employee's uh, journey. I would definitely use it. So I'm wondering, when people do say no to you, why do they say no? What are the reasons for rejection? It's a really good question. Um, like we, we, we don't get many no's, but the, the, I think really it's, it's because there's effort required to build this, it's, yes, it's plug and play to an extent, but it requires a build. Like you have to be ready to commit to the project. It isn't something you can just kind of turn on. So I think timing is probably the biggest like, killer of deals for us, I'd say. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, end border.